Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new tutorial. So again, I'm back with another Photoshop tutorial. So if you guys haven't subscribed my channel yet, don't forget to click on subscribe and don't forget to click on that bell icon. So with that note, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create a composition. So for that, go to file, click on new and I will just go for 1080 over 1080 pixel and uh, let's change the resolution as 300 color mode to RGB and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create then let's drag and drop this main image over here and let's make a copy Control J let's turn off the visibility for this one select the bottom layer go to image adjustment let's make it a black and white and let's go for image adjustment let's apply a posterize effect yep something like that and now select the copy layer let's make a copy again one more and let's turn on the visibility for layer one copy and let's go to the filter and let's apply a filter gallery and from here let's go for cutout and then yep i think this setting looks good to me so click on ok and let's turn on the visibility for copy layer again select the layer go to the filter let's just go again to the filter gallery and from here let's go for crystallize let's go for charcoal or let's yeah let's go for let's go for ink outlines and yep i think this is looking pretty good now let's click on okay so here we have three effects applied so let's turn off the visibility for all these layers and let's work on the layer one select the layer one create a layer max and let's fill it with black color and let's go to the brush and from here Let's go for this brush. So if you want to download the same brush pack, check on the description list below. And select the layer max. And let's change the color to white. And let's reveal these parts. And I think this is the most easiest way to make a paint effect. Yeah. now let's turn on the visibility for this layer again create a layer max let's fill the layer max with black color and again with the white color let's reveal some of these parts over here and maybe some colors over here too and let's go over here let's reveal some parts back here And same thing, let's do some of these parts over here. And again, let's go to the bottom part. Let's rebuild these parts. And let's turn on the visibility for this layer. Let's create a layer max. Let's fill it with black color again. And with the white color, let's rebuild these parts. let's go over here let's get back those parts all right now let's create a new layer and let's select the kind of uh, this color and let's add some effects over here now let's create a one more layer and let's go for a kind of darker color and let's do a little rotation yep maybe something like that and let's add effect over here and let's do a reverse rotation and 
let's add some particles effect right over here now let's select all these layers let's make it a little smaller Control T like let's make it maybe something like that I think it's, it's looking pretty okay and maybe I will just turn the opacity a little down yep somewhere around here and let's see and for this layer too let's turn down the opacity something like that and now let's uh, drag and drop this texture image over here Control T let's make it a little bigger and let's change the opacity a little down yep somewhere around here and let's add some text so And let's do a final touch up so control shift alt and e and let's go to the filter let's go for a camera raw filter and from here let's uh, increase a clarity yep something like that let's increase the vibrance too and let's drop down the highlights somewhere around here and let's increase the shadows from the detail tab let's increase a color noise reduction and let's increase the noise reduction too Yep. So, uh, let's apply a color light go over here go to the lookup click on load and let's apply a cine light and let's drop down the opacity just a little touch maybe somewhere around here and let's create a new layer and go to the brush and this time I will just go for a general hard brush and let's make it a little way smaller and let's draw some of these lines let's make the color kind of darker color and let's and same over here too and yep that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video